Good morning again, and hello and welcome to the parish of All Saints Harrow Weald. I'm John Barker, I'm the vicar of All Saints. Uh, we're part of the Church of England, and uh, we're in the Diocese of London. And as well as our live worship in church, we have live stream worship. And today, uh, we will have morning prayer from Common Worship, and it's with... Um, uh, special um, pieces included because today is the feast of Saint Michael and all angels and so that will be um, themed within our worship this morning. Worship will start in three four minutes time it's around 10 30 and as we prepare for worship we'll listen to an a cappello um, rendition of As the Deer Pants for the Water and this would be in a bigger church setting would have been the hymn of the day today, as the deer pants for the water. So 
as the deer pants for the water. Let us now worship God. On this day, the feast of St. Michael and all angels. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So let's pause for a moment at the beginning of this new day and commend to God our cares and our happiness and let's ask God's blessing on all that will be for us this day. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So, Psalm 42, verses 1 to 7, the base for that hymn of praise as the deer pants for the water. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now, when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like the horse and mule which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Send your holy angels to watch over us, O God, that on our lips will be found your truth, and in our hearts your love, so we may ever taste your goodness in the land of the living, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament Canticle from Isaiah. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will 
richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly part. Our Bible reading this morning is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, verses from chapter 12. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. When he had seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out of the bring him to the people after the Passover. While Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realise what was happening with the angels. He did not realise that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St Michael and all angels. Let's reflect just for a moment about angels this morning. We read today about how an angel came and freed Peter. And it's not long since our chosen reading from the lectionary was the release of Paul from prison by the angels and the prison guard was going to commit suicide because he thought uh, his life was coming to an end and Paul shouted don't worry we are here angels angels doing this angels doing that and then we told some people say it's a load of poppycock there's no such thing as angels there's a rational explanation for everything and yet, when we remember the 
preparations of God for the birth of Jesus when Mary was prepared it was an angel who came and spoke to her when Joseph was wondering what to do and was virtually decided to quietly uh, put Mary to one side without creating a great scandal an angel came to him There are some things in life that we can't explain rationally, that we can't justify rationally. There are times when it all boils down to faith. I remember the last hours of my mum's life as she prepared very peacefully to leave us on earth and go to our Father in heaven. Various members of our family were with her so that she had our company. And one of my nieces told me that when she was sitting with her, for some minute, Mum's eyes left her and everything about her was somewhere else. And she was looking intently into a corner. We couldn't see anything, but my niece is convinced that there was an angel there, and we like to think it was my dad coming to tell mum there was nothing to worry about, that she was safe to leave us and go to God. And from that moment on, she was at peace. And I've heard that, that experience shared a number of times. Can I prove it? No way. Do I believe it? Yes. And so, today, we celebrate the feast of St. Michael, but not only, all angels, for which, thanks be to God. Amen. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Our New Testament canticle the Benedictus. There was silence in heaven while the dragon waged war, and Michael and his angels fought against him and won the victory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. There was silence in heaven while the dragon waged war, and Michael and his angels fought against him, and won the victory. And now let us pray our morning prayers. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we worship you this morning, we 
give you thanks for Saint Michael and all your angels. We thank you for all the different times when our lives have been touched and inspired. We thank you for your love for us and your care over us. We pray that in return we may use your gifts in your service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for the world in which we're living, your world. We pray that your inspiration may strengthen the resolve of those who are looking for better treatments and vaccines to help us fight against coronavirus. And we pray for those who are infected by coronavirus. May you give them strength and hope to recover. We pray especially for those who are suffering from long COVID. Officially well again, but in reality still incapacitated, weak and needing time to recover. May your peace surround them as they continue to recover. And we pray for those who have died, for their immortal souls, and we pray for their families in their sadness and their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for ourselves and for our families and for our friends, thanking you for your goodness towards us and sharing with you our cares, our concerns, our anxieties. We commend to you those who we know who particularly need your healing presence at this time and your comfort and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally in these prayers, we remember those who we've known and loved, who are no longer with us. We pray that they are numbered now among your angels. We thank you that we have the privilege to know them, to be loved by them and to love them. And we pray that we may show what we have learned from their example in the way that we live our lives. And so we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And now as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and 
of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all those who you love, wherever they are, today and always. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with us again this morning. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing today, may your day be happy, may it be safe, and may it be blessed by God. And may you feel the invisible presence and support of God's angels in your times of need. Tomorrow, we, by the grace of God, will be worshipping in All Saints. And so I invite you, if you're able, to join us in All Saints at 11.30 for a, a said Eucharist. And if you're not able to join us physically, the service will be live, live streamed and then will be uploaded to YouTube after the service is finished. That's tomorrow, though. May this day be full of blessings and may you use it in God's service. And so as we... Uh, uh, finish. I know that at the end of the service on Sunday when the choir uh, sang Guide Me O Thou Great Redeemer uh, it was much appreciated and so here are the choir of St Martin in the Fields concluding our worship with Guide Me O Thou Great Redeemer.